Magandang araw mga classmate. Ngayong araw ay uh, pag-uusapan natin ang dalawang klase ng permutation. So yung una, permutation taken all at a time. And then the other one is permutation taken r at a time. So ano ba ang pinagkaiba nitong dalawang to? So we'll start with this uh, problem. Okay. So based dun sa problem, Find the number of permutations of the letters A, B, C, D, and E. And then, yung pangalawang problem natin, so mamaya i-compare natin. Uh, find the number of permutations of the letters A, B, C, D, and E using three letters only. Okay, so if we're going to analyze, so yung unang question natin ay uh, permutation ng lahat ng given na letters. Then, uh, same given sa number 2, but this time, ang gagamitin lang natin instead na yung 5. So, we're going to uh, arrange only 3 letters from A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, so ito ay parehas na permutation pero uh, magkaibang case. Okay. So, in this lesson... So, ang gagamitin nating notation for permutation is permutation of n. Ito yung n, ito yung r. Or permutation of n taken r at a time. Kasi sa ibang reference book, so makikita nyo uh, npr. Yung iba naman, uh, pnr. So, Although magkakaiba sila ng uh, notation, so parehas lang ang meaning nito. So sa araling ito, ito yung ating gagamitin na notation para sa permutation. Okay, so ano ba yung N? So yung N, ito yung nagsasabi ng total items in the set. Then yung R, ito naman ang nagsasabi kung ilang items taken o yung... Uh, bilang ng items na gagamitin natin for permutation. Okay. So, balikan natin muli yung problem kanina. So, in this case, sa number 1, uh, ang ating magiging n dito is 5. Since ang uh, bilang ng elements sa set ay 5. So, we have A, B, C, D, and E. And then, we are going to arrange yung lahat ng letters. So, ang ating R dito is 5. Okay. So, punta tayo dito sa pangalawang example. So, find the number of permutations of the letters A, B, C, D, and E. Ibig sabihin, in this case, ang N natin ay 5 din. Ang pagkakaiba lang, so this time, ang kukunin nating permutation ay 3 letters lang. So, ibig sabihin, ang R natin dito ay 3 Okay, so balikan muli natin yung first problem. So if you will notice ang ating n, yung n natin dito sa first problem is equal to r. Then yung sa pangalawa, uh, yung n natin obviously is greater than r. So mag-focus tayo dito kung ang n natin ay equal sa r. So, ang formula para dito, so we have permutation of n taken n at a time or taken all at a time. Since, uh, sabi ko kanina, yung n natin is equal to r. So, this is read as permutation of n taken all at a time. So, ito, ang formula natin dito ay simple lang na n factorial. Okay. So, kung ang n naman natin is greater than uh, or equal to r, so pwede rin naman natin gamitin ito kung ang n natin is equal to r. Pero, I suggest kung ang n natin is uh, equal to r, so stick na tayo dito para mas madali. So, kung ang n natin is greater than r, so ito naman yung formula natin. So, we have permutation of n taken r at a time is equal to n factorial all over uh, the quantity of n minus r factorial. Okay. So, try nating sagutan yung ating uh, given na problem. 
So again, sabi ko kanina, yung n natin dito is 5. Then yung r natin is also 5. Since uh, if you will notice, yung n is equal to r. So ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin natin dito is permutation of n taken all at a time. So ang n natin is 5. Kunin nyo lang yung 5 factorial. So that is equivalent to uh, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So uh, 5 times 4, we have 20 times 3. 60 times 2, we have 120. So meaning to say, if you are going to uh, arrange letters A, B, C, D, and E, so there are uh, 120 ways to arrange yung uh, limang letters na yun. Okay. So how about uh, this time, kapag ang uh, i-arrange ia natin ay tatlo lang using A, B, C, D, and E. So again, ang N natin dito is 5. Ang R natin is 3. So, ang N natin is greater than R. So, ang gagamitin natin is permutation of N taken R at a time. Kung saan yung ating N factorial or we have 5 factorial over n minus r. So, ang n natin again is 5 minus r then factorial. Then, simplify natin. So, ang uh, 5 factorial, so, pwede natin isulat as 5 uh, times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial. Okay. Stop ko lang doon para makita nyo kung bakit uh, tinigil natin doon. So, 5 minus 3, we have 2. So, this is 2 factorial. Yan. So, pwede na natin i-cancel ito. So, ang matitira is 5 times 4. We have 20. 20 times 3. So, there are 60 ways to uh, arrange 3 letters using uh, A, B, C, D, and E. Or tatlong letters mula sa given natin. So, there are 60 ways. So, yun yung pinagkaiba ng ating dalawang case ng permutation. Okay, so let us uh, try to answer another uh, problem. So, find the number of permutations of the letters of the word Pfizer. Okay. So, yung uh, problem na to ay parehas ng ating problem number 1 kung saan uh, identify muna natin. Ang n natin dito is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we're going to arrange yung given natin using nung lahat ng letters. Kasi wala namang binanggit dito kung ilan ang uh, i-arrange natin. So, ibig sabihin, this is a case of uh, permutation of n taken n or all at a time. So, ang n natin is 6. So, kunin lang natin yung value nung 6 factorial. Again, uh, I've mentioned last uh, lesson na uh, advantage kung uh, memorize natin at least hanggang uh, 10 factorial kasi that will be of great uh, use especially kapag nagsisimplify tayo ng mga permutation problem. So, ang 6 factorial is equivalent to 720. So, meaning kung i-arrange natin tong letters na to, so, there are 720 ways para i-arrange yung letters from the word Pfizer. Okay. So, how about this problem? So, in how many ways can you place 9 different books in a shelf if there is enough space for only 5 books? Okay. So, identify natin. In this case, ang N natin... Uh, yung lahat ng uh, element sa set, so we have 9. And then, ang R natin dito, so ano ba yung o ilan doon sa 9 yung i-arrange natin? So sabi, 5 lang. Sabihin, this is a case of permutation of N taken R at a time. Wherein, ang formula natin is N factorial or we have 9 factorial over N minus R or 9 minus 5 factorial. Simplify natin. So, we have uh, 9 times 8 times 7 
times 6 times uh, 5 times uh, 4 factorial. Stop tayo dito. Kasi 9 minus 5 is 4. So, we have 4 factorial. So, pwede na natin i-cancel to. Okay. So, we have now uh, left of uh, 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5. So, this is equivalent to 15,120. Kung uh, imumultiply natin siya. Ibig sabihin, uh, ang permutation o yung bilang ng arrangement uh, using 5 books only, kung meron kang uh, siyam na libro, is 15,120 ways. Okay, so for our last problem, sabi dito, a zip code contains 4 digits. How many different zip code can be made with the digits 0 to 9 if no digit is used more than once and the first digit is not 0? Okay, so if we're going to analyze itong problem na to, medyo tricky, you know? so iisa-isahin natin. So, identify natin ano ang N. So, from the given, ang N natin ay meron tayong 0 to 9. So, ibig sabihin, ang N natin dito is 10. So, ano naman ang R? So, ang R natin is 4. Okay. Pero, merong mga binigay na restriction. So, kung meron tayong apat na digits para sa zip code, so, sabi, yung una, hindi pwedeng maging 0. So, ibig sabihin, hindi natin isasama yung uh, isang uh, digit sa permutation kasi meron lamang tayong siyam para sa unang digits. Okay, so multiply lang natin yon Okay, sa so permutation ng this time, so dahil meron na tayong isa dito, so hindi natin ang gagamitin natin. So this time, ang N na natin dito ay 9. So, ang R natin still is 4. Okay. So, kunin lang natin yung product ng 9 and then permutation ng 9 taken 4 at a time. Okay. So, we have 9 times 9 factorial over 9 minus 4 factorial. Simplify pa natin. So, we'll have 9 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 hanggang dun lang ako kasi 9 minus 4 is 5 factorial Ayan. so cancel na natin yung 5 factorial so we now have 9 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 so kapag kinuha natin yung product nyan so the answer is 27,000 216 ways ang magiging sagot natin dun sa problem okay so that's it I hope ay uh, meron kayo natutunan sa lesson natin ngayong araw and uh, feel free to share this video to others especially sa iba pa nating classmate para mas marami pa tayong matulungan iba until next time